here at Isle of Wight Radio and it is time to play today's headline or hearsay. Uh, if you're on Facebook then uh, you can uh, have a little look right now. We should be, we should be live. Uh, by the way, if you're on Facebook, you can have a look at the amazing videos that I took, if I do say so myself, yeah, uh, <laughs> yesterday at Robin Hill. Uh, we had great fun there. Lantern parades, people dancing in the sky. It looked great. It really yeah. did. Lots of coloured powder. I did try and avoid oh, that. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> they went, do you want to go in? I'm like, mm. oh, I think I'm all right, thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> I'll save that one for the kids. Tonight, we're going to be at Black Gang Chime, by the way. So... Uh, if you can't make it to Black Gang China, you can have a look to see what they're doing with their illuminations as we kind of take you behind the scenes of some of the attractions on the Isle of Wight. Uh, right, OK, it is time for headline or hearsay. Yesterday was a disaster. It's not disaster. for me. Disaster. For, uh, for team winning, uh, as we like to call it, <laughs> turned rapidly into team losing yesterday. Complete wipeout. Complete. But, Painful. to be fair, it put a little smile on... Uh, on Jamie's Put face. Put a spring in my step yesterday. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's what, just, that's what the important thing is. Yeah. So let's do it. Let's play headline or hearsay for a Tuesday morning. A diver who became separated from his boat has said he's lucky to be alive after swinging miles back to shore while being stalked by a large tiger shark. British expat John Craig was fishing underwater between Denham and Cape Peron in Western Australia when his boat experienced engine problems and was swept away. After shouting and splashing in an attempt to alert his crewmate, Mr Craig put his head in the water and saw the 13-foot shark approaching. He then spotted the sandbar whaler circling and decided he had no choice but to swim for his life. Oh. Headline or here. Can you just imagine that? No. I bet he was little... Like oh, like oh you wouldn't know what to do, would you? You'd think, do I, do I go Slow. quickly or slowly? Why was he fishing underwater, though? Because <laughs> that, that's where the fish are. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how's he going to cast a rod underwater? He's on his boat fishing. He was on his boat, <laughs> fishing. <laughs> and, and, on his boat oh. fishing for fish under the sea. Water. Under the sea. Right, okay. Good, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> uh, morning to uh, David, who says headline. Dan Briggs says headline. Uh, Julie says hearsay. Vanessa says headline this morning. Are we going to go with headline or hearsay? Oh, what? I'm a little bit torn because I do think this could happen. Could really, really happen. Oh, Jamie did that face. It was like, <laughs> yeah, go on. Go with that one. Oh, did he? Yeah. Well, well, they the... used to wear a visor and sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, don't that they? Jamie's got a poker really face. bad game face, hasn't oh. he? I was going to say the worst ever. Do not well play poker with Jamie if you get the opportunity. <laughs> You're money. To be honest, <laughs> play poor man. Pl play anything because he would just he would just give it away. Are we going headline or hearsay? Hearsay. Uh, Dave says hearsay. Vanessa says headline. We're going hearsay, are we? Hearsay. We're going hearsay. It's a headline. Oh. <laughs> What is going on? Poker face. We've lost our mojo. We have. Let's do another one. A gang, a gang of marauding geese have been causing chaos in a town near Manchester, harassing residents and police. The birds, which are native to the area, have been filmed chasing police cars and attacking residents in Salford. Officials say there's not much they can do as the geese are wildlife and, as a result, they don't come under their jurisdiction. One of the victims, Jane Andrews, managed to film the animals as they came at her. Close to her home. Headline or hearsay? They can be quite vicious, can't they? Yes. Especially uh, nesting season. Yes. That's when it is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, that face is just a ridiculous face. It's <laughs> my <a> normal face. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, um, so, uh, Tracy thinks his headline. Hayley says headline this morning. Bo, who's in Rome, Italy. Uh, says nice. headline. We should take the show to Bo, shouldn't we? Oh, yes. Really? Good yes. idea. Yes. Like Why don't that. we do that? We'll put it to the boss. Yes. Uh, Jean says, uh, "Morning. All we think is a headline." I think headline. Are we going headline then? Oh. Are we going to go headline together? Not just me saying headline. <laughs> okay, we'll go headline together. Headline. It's a headline. It's a hearsay. No. Two in a row. Come on. Hashtag OMG. <laughs> Hashtag 
What is going on? We'll, we'll scrub this week. We won't have this week. Oh, no. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, we'll just. No. Right, let's. It's because it's half term. Just for fun. <laughs> Football goalkeepers are known to be a little bit crazy and a bit out there. But one keeper left his boss fuming after picking up a bizarre injury. Former Portsmouth and England goalkeeper David James was forced to miss his side's game after spilling hot soup on his hand at home and getting third degree burns. The stopper had to have the burns wrapped up for two weeks, missing his club's first two games of the season. Headline or hearsay? I don't think so. No. I think it would take a lot longer than two weeks with third degree burns. Mm. That would hurt. Yeah. Could have been worse. He could have spilt it down him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what he did then, didn't he? James I don't know, did he? It. Trace, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't change it like that. Tracy thinks hearsay. Dan says headline. Haley says hearsay. Hazel says hearsay uh, this morning. Uh, Hayley Newby says hearsay. A lot of Hayleys around. Yeah. You've attracted the Hayleys. Yes. We're a, one of a... Well, we're not we're many of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> we're unique. You're unique. <laughs> yeah, true. Somebody said to me the other day, is Hayley really like that or is it an act? I'm like, no, it's... it's... Funny you say this. Somebody asked me this very same question. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't like to be ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> You're far from ordinary. Oh, no natural. Um, I think that's his. <laughs> Sort of. I don't think that's what you meant, but <laughs> <laughs> moving on quickly, hearsay. Uh, Julie thinks it's hearsay. Uh, Jean thinks it's hearsay. Uh, we're going hearsay, are we? Hearsay. Hearsay. It is hearsay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, I thought you'd, I thought oh, I'd give you, you know, let you have one. Oh. Do, do you know what? I know how you feel now, being a loser. Yeah. Uh, it's it's. The tables have turned. Well, have they turned, or are we just giving you an easier oh, time? Come on. <laughs> I have to say the soup one was actually me last night. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, uh, but not third degree. No. Me, but burn my hand. What, yeah. what are you having? Uh, just a bit of soup. Bit no, of what, what? Oh, tomato soup. Tomato yeah, soup. Yeah, no. Too adventurous. No, you don't want to go mad. No. I don't like soup. I'd love to love soup. I love people that love soup. Soup always looks lovely. <laughs> soup and bread. It's that time of year. It is. Yeah. It the, is. the only soup I like is my wife makes this kind of um, uh, butternut squash soup. Ooh, and, I, and I do like that. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> that would be lovely for dinner. Style of White Radio, thank you to everyone on Facebook for playing along. You've been brilliant as always. We'll do it again, same time, same place tomorrow. Latest travel news and your news headlines after Ronan Keating. This is Loving Each Day at Isle of White Radio. Quarter to eight right now. <laughs>